Hey everybody, Josh here with a look at another Star Wars toy. And today we're going to do a toy unboxing. And this toy is from the Force Awakens toy line. But the character is actually from Star Wars Rebels. This is the Inquisitor. So let's go unbox this guy. Come on, let's go. Alright guys, here we are with a toy from the Force Awakens toy line. But this character is actually from... The Rebels TV show on Disney XD. Um, it's an animated show that is set right before the time period of Episode 4, A New Hope. And any of you who out there who have not watched that show, uh, I just want to say first off, I highly recommend it. It's a very good show. Uh, don't knock it because it's animation. I know there's people out there like that. Um, but I can tell you it's a very, very good show. Anyway, moving on, looking at this figure. And so you might be wondering, why is there a figure from Star Wars Rebels in packaging from The Force Awakens? And you just have to understand how they do things in the toy world, and or at least in the Star Wars toy world. So when a new movie is released, for example, The Force Awakens, every toy from that period on, unless it's something special like Black Series or something like that, is going to be in this kind of packaging until... The next movie comes out, in this case, The Last Jedi. So, this toy was obviously produced after The Force Awakens was released. And so, to show you a slight difference here, if you look, I have here a Captain Phasma toy. And you can see they're in the exact same packaging with Kylo Ren at the top. But the one difference you'll notice, if you look real close on Captain Phasma, it actually says The Force Awakens under Star Wars. And under the Inquisitor, it does not. It's left blank. So that's just your way of knowing he's not actually from the Force Awakens movie, but he is from the Force Awakens toy line, if that makes sense to you. So, but let's go ahead. Let's go, on, go ahead and unbox this guy. That's what we want to do today. So before we get that far, I just want to spin him around real quick and show you the whole package, front and back. And... So what you had going on with this toy line, what they were doing is they were having a little promotional thing where you got this extra accessory with your figure and you had to buy these three figures that you can see here and you can take the accessories and assemble them all together and you get a big, usually like a cannon or a jet pack or something like that. And then over here they're showing you what your figure, the accessory your figure comes with. He comes with some sort of... What appears to be an arm shield. They're not. They don't really tell you on the back of the package. It's just a little visual aid here. So, but and then you also have here a quick description of who the Inquisitor is, and I'll go ahead and read that to you guys. A servant of Darth Vader and the Emperor, the Inquisitor was tasked with hunting down and eliminating Jedi who survived Order sixty six. So I know these guys didn't appear in any of the movies, but if you're at all familiar with the character at all, you'll know they were in Star Wars Rebels, is where they <clears throat> appear, and that was their job. These were the guys, if they found a Jedi, they would send these guys out after them to hunt them down. As simple as that. And they worked for Vader. Well, let's go ahead and unbox this guy. Let's get into this thing. It's actually a very cool character. And this particular Inquisitor, there's multiple Inquisitors. If you watch the show, they explain to you later in one of the later episodes his lineage, or where he comes from. He was actually a, a temple guard at the in the Jedi Temple. So there's an episode where they explain that. But let's get him out of here. Oh, very cool. I like the lightsaber. But there he is. Let's go ahead and pop him out of here. See, all right. I love it when the figures stand on their own. It's very important. Okay. And so, oh, there's his lightsaber. And here is the little accessory he came with. It's kind of like a little P shield that just snaps onto his arm. But we'll check this out a little bit closer in a sec here. And then, of course, you have his lightsaber. And... Let's see if I can get this guy out of here and get this thing to focus on the actual lightsaber here. Okay. And so here it is. And these lightsabers stirred up a little bit of controversy 
in the TV show. So if you watched it, one of the things, all, all the Inquisitors had these lightsabers with these rings around the handle, if you see them. And so in one of the episodes, or a couple of the episodes, what they would do is they would take these lightsabers and hold them up over their head, and the blades would, would start spinning around this ring, and then they would go airborne like they were a helicopter. And even I have to admit that is a little bit silly. Um, but you know what? I don't make TV shows, so I don't want to criticize people who do. It's, I'm sure it's not an easy job. Um, but that's one of the things you're going to see. If you if you watch the TV show Rebels, you're actually going to see they're going to use these things to fly. So there you go. Very similar to Darth Maul, double-bladed, with a, but the handle's much smaller. And let's take a look at the actual Inquisitor here. And here he is. And he's got kind of a almost an Imperial officer's outfit on with armor slapped on top of it. It's very cool. And real quick here, let's just run through his movements. So you have side to side head movement. No up and down because it's if you see he has this really large collar that goes around his head so it kind of restricts the movement a little bit. So that's all the further he turns. Okay, and then you have arm movement at the shoulders. No waist movement and hip movement only. So this guy is a, a sitter. Very good. Okay, so let's see if we can get this lightsaber into his hand. All right. There it is. And it appears like you can put it in both hands. But to be completely honest with you, his hands look a little bit small for the handle. He's holding on to it, and it's in there pretty good. But it looks like they could have made the handle either a little smaller or his hands a little bit bigger. That's what I would have done, but... There you go. Maybe you can get a little bit better look at his lightsaber when he holds it. Okay, and then, so... From there, this is the bonus accessory he comes with, and you can see there's a little tiny clip on the inside of it here, and what that is, is you're going to clip it to his arm, so let's see here, alright, there you go, it's on there, it's not on there real well. Kind of got to wedge his hand in there. But I guess if you were to have his lightsaber in one hand and the shield in the other, he's definitely, definitely ready for combat. His thumbs are just a little bit too small. To grab onto that lightsaber. He doesn't want to quite hold it. Very cool. Oh. See, it's it's on his arm and it'll stay on there, but it's not exactly the 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 tightest fit. So just be aware of that. I'm gonna get this lightsaber in his other hand here. All right. There he is, guys, from the Force Awaken Awakens toy line and from the TV show Rebels, Season 1, I believe. I think this character only appeared in Season 1. This is The Inquisitor. And thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. Bye.